Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video we are going to learn about pronunciation, specifically how to pronounce back vowels, okay? So whether you are learning British English, Canadian English, American English, whatever English you're learning, these sounds exist in all of them, okay? So it doesn't matter what type of, what dialect you're learning, you will find these sounds in uh, many different dialects. Okay, so to get started, uh, let's talk about what are vowels. So I have here A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. These are what we call vowels in English, okay? Um, so these make a certain type of sound uh, where usually you, you have a lot of air coming into your mouth from the back of your throat. So it, it's not so important how, like what a vowel is. The main thing is to remember that A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y are vowels. Whatever is a letter that isn't one of these is called a consonant. So for example, S, T, D, F, these are all consonants. Okay, so let's get started by looking at this and thinking what is a consonant and what is a vowel? So we have here the word drew. Can you tell me what is the vowel in this word drew? If you said this, you're correct, okay? The DR and the W, they're consonants, and the E is a vowel. We have the word here foot. So what's the vowel? In this case, it's the O's. And F and T are consonants. Hello. The E is a vowel, and so is the O. All, in this case, the A is the vowel. Jaw, and clock. Okay, so these are the different vowels in English. Today we are going to be looking at um, four of the, the vowel sounds that happen in the back of your mouth. So I'll explain that in a second. But first, I want you to look at these four words. Foot, food, foe, flock. What is the same in these words? If you look at the spelling, all these words have an O in the spelling. Now, do we pronounce the O, o the same way? Listen carefully. Is the O pronounced the same in each of these words? Foot, food, foe, flock. The O is actually pronounced differently in these words, which is why you can't always um, depend on spelling in English to help you with your pronunciation, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to, um, you know, some tips on how to do these different pronunciations and how to know when to pronounce uh, which sounds. Um, okay, so before we get to these different vowel sounds we're going to practice today, I just wanted to tell you some general things about pronouncing vowels. Um, a lot of students, they don't know what they're doing with their mouth when they're pronouncing. It's very important to pay attention to what your mouth is doing and what your tongue is doing when you actually pronounce something, okay? This will really help you improve your pronunciation. It's also a good idea maybe to use a mirror in order to look and become aware of what this area is doing to make the sound. So when you're thinking about your lips, it's important to think, are your lips spread like cheese? Or are your lips, so this would be spread, or are your lips like closer together, like um, food, ooh, e, ooh. Notice the difference? So that's one thing to look at. Are your lips spread, like e, or are they close together, like ooh? Okay, how open is your mouth is something you wanna look at. Is it not very open, like, Ooh. Or is it very open, like ah? <laughs> okay, how open is your mouth? 
The other thing you want to pay attention to is your tongue. So these are your lips. I'm not a great artist, I know. These are your teeth. This is your chin, your neck, and this uh, red, red thing is your tongue. Is your tongue touching your teeth? Is your tongue touching the top of your mouth? Or is your tongue hanging out kind of close to the, the back of your mouth? For back vowels, your tongue is going to be more towards the back like this, okay? So your tongue is not where your teeth are. Your tongue, if these are your teeth, your tongue is not touching your teeth. Your tongue is a little bit back, okay? Um, okay, so now we know what we need to pay attention to. Now let's learn some of these back vowels and how to make them. Okay, so the first back vowel sound we're going to learn uh, is the oo sound. Oo. Okay. So again, your tongue should be not touching your teeth. Your tongue, if this is your, your teeth, your tongue is a little bit back. Um, okay, so here is the spelling of the sound. You might see it as two O's, oo. It might be a U. Oh, I put U again. Uh, U E sometimes, like blue, oo. O and E. O and U and E and W. So there's many, many different spellings of this sound. Uh, that's one reason why you can't use the spelling always to know how a sound is pronounced. Uh, one thing you can use is something called the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA for short. Uh, this is where you have a lot of different symbols and each symbol actually is a sound. So uh, in the dictionary, uh, when you're looking at a word, sometimes they will actually have the, the way to pronounce it and they will show you uh, the International Phonetic Alphabet pronunciation. So this is a tool that can help you with your pronunciation, okay? So this is the symbol for the oo sound. So if you ever look at the International Phonetic Alphabet and you see a word and it has this in it, it's the oo sound. So let's look at some examples of this sound. We have boot, oo, boot, new, do, Luke. If you think of Luke Skywalker and you like Star Wars, Luke, two. Okay, these all have the same sound in them. So I want you to think now about what your lips are doing, what your mouth is doing, how uh, big or how small your mouth is to help you with the pronunciation of this sound. Okay, so I want you to look at my mouth. Ooh, ooh. What does my mouth look more like? Is it really big and wide and spread or is it small? Is it like this? Ooh, ooh. No, it's not like this, it's more like this. Okay, so you don't have a big mouth for this. These are my lips, okay? If you look at the side, ooh, they're curving upward um, or, or they're, they're coming out. So if you want an example of this, think about a wolf, ooh. You know, when wolves howl, they go ooh, okay? That can help you with your lips. So your lips should be curved and rounded. Um, okay, now look at the actual size of the hole. Uh, is it like this or is it really big? Ooh, ooh. It's not big. My mouth, there's a little tiny hole. So it's more like this, okay? So it's, you had to um, check it off. Now listen to the sound, ooh. Is it a long sound or a short sound? Do, um, blue, Luke. It's actually a bit of a long sound. Now, if that's confusing to you, you'll see what I mean when you compare it to other sounds because some other sounds are very short. This sound is a little bit longer. Okay, so it's long. Okay, so let's do some practice of this sound. And again, use a mirror as a, to help you um, so you can actually look at your lips and see what they're doing to make sure you're doing it correctly. Okay, so I want you to repeat after me. Boot. Ooh. Boot. New. 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 So again, 
Think about the lips, they're not really big. Do, do, do. Luke, Luke, Luke. Finally, two, two. And I'm gonna give you one more. Blue, like the color blue, okay? So again, your lips are small, uh, but they're, they're protruding outward, they're rounded like a wolf. Ooh, okay. So now let's compare this to another back vowel sound. Okay, this one, uh. So we just did, this is ooh, uh. So hopefully you can hear a bit of a difference with that. And you can see a difference in the way I pronounce this. Okay, so this sound can be spelt with two O's along with a U, just like this sound. So they actually have the same spelling, but they are different sounds, okay? So if you're ever unsure, look in the dictionary for the International Phonetic Alphabet spelling, and you will know which sound to use. So let's look at some examples of this sound. Book, uh, book, could, could, uh. So this is a uh, ooh, uh, look, cook, stood. Okay, so it's a uh sound. Okay, so let's look at, actually to really compare before we get started on what your mouth is doing, I want you to say boot. Now compare this to book, boot, book. So you might notice with your mouth, boot, book, your mouth is kind of small for both of them, right? Book. I'm not saying book, like where my mouth comes spread. No, no, no. My mouth is, is small. So it's not big like this. It's actually closer to this. Okay. So with this sound, ooh, you have a very small mouth, a very small mouth and very small hole. For book, the size is a little bit bigger, so it's bigger than this hole, but it's not very big, okay? It's just a little bit bigger. So it's not super small, it's not large like ah, uh, it's somewhere in the middle, okay? Um, and the sound, I want you to compare these two sounds, boot, book. Which one is a longer sound? Boot, book. This one is longer. Boot is a very short sound, okay? Or sorry, boot is a long sound. Book, book is a short sound. So it's shorter, whereas this one is longer. Okay, so let's practice the pronunciation now. Book. Okay, and again, it's very short. Could, could, look, look, cook, cook. And notice I'm not smiling, okay? And my lips, for this one, my lips are really like coming out like ooh. With this one, my lips aren't uh, uh, they're, they're flat. Stood stood. Okay, great. Um, so it's very a great idea. It's a, it's a wonderful idea to actually compare some of these sounds to one another. Okay, so especially boot and book, you can really start to notice some of the differences in what your mouth is doing. Now let's look at some more back vowel sounds. Okay, so the next back vowel we're going to learn is O. O. Okay, so we've done two other ones already. Um, here is the spelling. Uh, it might be in the shape of an O. It might be O and E. It might be O and A, O, W, O and E. So there's many different spellings for this. And the IPA symbol is an O, okay? So what are some examples of this sound, O? Well, we have the letter O, if you're thinking about the alphabet. We have go home, road, toe, don't. Uh, we also have the word no, 
Okay, so this is a very common sound. It might even exist in your language. O. Oh. Okay, so I want you to think about what my mouth is doing. First off, is it very spread, like O? Oh? Or is it kind of closed, like O? Oh. O. Oh. Yeah, O. Oh. It's not spread, it's actually very small. Your mouth actually almost looks like an O shaped. Okay, so it looks more like this. Now in terms of the, the size of it, O, O, is it a small hole or is it a very big hole? O, O. It's actually kind of in the middle. It's not O, it's not very, very tiny, but it's also not O very big. So this is kind of, your mouth is kind of, maybe if I draw this a little bit bigger. Okay. So there, there's a little bit of a, a hole there. O. Oh. Okay, another thing is what, what are my lips doing? Are they rounded or are they flat? O. Oh. O. Oh. Notice my lips are rounded. Okay, they, they come outward. O. Oh. They're not flat. And the sound, is it long or is it short? O. Oh. Ho. M. Home. Road. It's actually a long sound. Okay, so let's do some practice of this sound. I want you to repeat after me. O. Oh. O. Oh. Go. Go. Home, home, road, road, toe, toe, don't, don't. Okay, great. So now we're going to look at the last sound we're doing today. There's actually more back vowels. Um, if you look at the differences between Canadian English, American English, uh, British English, Australian English, some dialects have more vowels than others. We're just doing um, actually more of the basics, which all dialects have, okay? So we're going to skip some back vowels that exist in British English, but don't exist in Canadian English or American English, okay? Um, okay, so we now have our last sound we're going to look at today. This is actually a fun sound to make. It's almost like you're going to the doctor's. Uh, when the doctor says to you, open your mouth and say, ah, this is the sound you're making. Ah. Okay, so it's a big sound. Um, so this is the letter we use in terms of the International Phonetic Alphabet. So if you're looking for the symbol that represents the sound, this represents ah when you see that. Now in terms of spelling, we can spell this with an O, or sometimes we actually spell it with an A, okay? Um, so I have here some different words that have this sound in it. We have clock, ah, clock, doll, and notice how big my mouth gets. Doll, stop, stop, hot, hot, and father, father, okay? So in all of these, you'll notice my mouth is a lot bigger than, for example, ooh, ah, ooh. You see the difference? So let's look at what the shape of my mouth is doing. Okay, so this is an ah sound. Is it very uh, spread, like ah, ah? No, it's not spread. It's actually uh, more like, I draw it. So it's not spread like a E sound uh, or an A ah sound. It's, my cheeks aren't going this way. It's actually um, more inward, ah, okay? So it's, it's more like this. Now in terms of the opening, is there a little opening or a big opening? Ah, okay, it's a very big opening. You, your mouth should be very big for this. So it looks, like this, okay? So it's big and it's not spread, it's closer together. Ah, 
Now I want you to compare this with um, a front vowel sound. Ah, ah, ah. You see the difference? And this is why it's very important to pay attention to what your lips are doing and what your mouth is doing in the pronunciation. Okay, now is this a short sound or a long sound? Ah, father. Um, stop. Ah. It's actually a long sound. Okay, so now let's do some practice with some of these uh, words, okay, to get the sound correct. I want you to repeat after me. Clock. Clock. And again, if you're having trouble, just remember going to the doctors. You can start off with ah, clock, doll, doll, stop, stop. Hot, hot, father, father, okay? And so in different dialects, these might be pronounced slightly differently. Um, sometimes they might have this sound, sometimes they might have another sound. So that's something to keep in mind. But the key here is these sounds that you've learned today, they exist in these different dialects. So you will come across different words with these sounds. Um, okay, so now let's do some practice to make sure that uh, you've understood everything and that uh, you're, you're good with these pronunciations. Okay, so you've learned four different back vowel sounds. You've learned oo, uh, o, and aw. Ah. Okay, so you've learned four different back vowel sounds. Now I want you to think about what sounds are in these words, okay? So pay attention to what my mouth is doing and listen to the sound and think about which sound is it. So the first one is dawn. Ah, dawn. Okay, so if you said this is a ah sound, you're correct. Okay, so it looks like an A. Ah, dawn. The next song, sound, hood, uh, hood. Hood. So it's a short sound, hood. My mouth isn't really open that much, hood. So this is actually this sound, uh, hood, uh, hood. Okay. Now what about this one? Poke, o, oh. poke. Do you hear the o sound there? Poke. So this sound that we learned today is an O. Poke. And finally, the last one, if you look at what my mouth is doing, blue. 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 What sound is that? It's an OO sound. Blue. So these are our IPA, or International Phonetic Alphabet Symbols, which represent the sound. And so in oo, blue, I mean you have an oo sound. So this takes time, okay? I don't expect you to know all your vowels just after watching this video. Um, but the main thing that I hope you learned today is that when you're making sounds, really, really pay attention to what your lips are doing, what your mouth is doing, how open your mouth is or how closed it is, and whether the sound is very long or short. Look in a mirror, compare these sounds, and try to notice some of the differences between them. Get used to what your mouth is doing for an uh, ooh sound versus an ah sound. Comparing them is one way to really start improving your pronunciation. I also want to invite you to come check out our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can actually find more um, videos on different sounds, including other vowel sounds like front vowels and central vowels. And uh, you can also learn some tips on how to improve your pronunciation. We also have a quiz there. So if you want to practice what you learned today, you can check out our website and take our quiz. I highly recommend it. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care.